I learned to play the tin whistle starting at the age of eight. And then at the age of 10, my parents fulfilled every 10-year-old boy's dream and bought me an accordion. So I was the Irish version of Steve Urkel. Music and prayer, playing and praying, uh, originate in the same space of the human heart. Prayer, when we really pray, when we've exhausted the words that we learned and we start to let what is moving in the deepest parts of ourselves emerge, that prayer and music align almost identically they converge into a single moment where you express yourself and you're serving something much greater. Every time I pick up an instrument, every time I play for an audience of one or 1,000, every time I kneel before the Blessed Sacrament or begin a Mass, I'm always in awe of the mystery I serve. If I can pray through music, I praise through music. And I think the society has long recognized that and encouraged that in its members, that we should be creative, whether that's in art or architecture, in music, in composition, in dance, in theater. All of these are ways of making explicit and tangible and real what God is always doing. I found in the Jesuit teachers and mentors I encountered incredible examples of happiness and a way of life that I found attractive. I've never gone to bed not tired, and I've never woken up in the morning not excited. To see people come alive as I'm allowed to serve them, to be a companion to them in times of need, times of joy, I couldn't think of a better way of life.